Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. We're dedicated to delivering quality auto parts, expert customer service, fast and free shipping, all backed by our 100% satisfaction guarantee. So visit us at 1AAuto.com, your trusted source for quality auto parts. In this video, we're going to be working with our 2008 Chevy Equinox 3.4 liter V6. We're going to show you how to remove and replace your EGR tube. If you like this video, please click subscribe. We have a ton more information on this and many other vehicles. And if you need this part for your car, you can follow the link down in the description over to 1AAuto.com. Here are the items you'll need for this repair. Remove the oil fill cap. Grab the bottom portion of the fill tube here. Turn that counterclockwise as well. Remove that. The connector on top of your EGR valve is also going to be in the way of removing your engine cover. There's a little plastic tab in here. Now these are really prone to breaking, so I like to push down on that tab with a pick and just remove the safety from the connector completely so we don't risk breaking it and having it be less secure when we reinstall. Push down on the tab. And remove the electrical connector from your EGR. And simply pop up. And remove your engine cover. Remove the three bolts securing the EGR tube onto both the exhaust manifold and the EGR solenoid. We'll remove the top one with a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet and use an extension on the bottom two for a little more clearance. Now we soaked ours in penetrating oil for about five, 10 minutes before we tried this just to make sure that these bolts wouldn't snap. Remove the EGR tube. Here we have our old EGR tube that we removed from our vehicle and our new part from 1AAuto.com. As you can see, these parts are exactly the same. These joints aren't quite on there at the moment because these need to be aligned and then this will be crushed to help seal everything together nice and tight. Same thing on the bottom there. This joint moves until we set it where we want it. A cracked EGR tube or a clogged EGR tube will cause improper flow to your EGR valve, creating emissions issues and codes in your vehicle, whereas one being cracked or broken will create a loud noise usually because it's exhaust coming out without going through the muffler, which quiets down that noise, and it'll also have a bad exhaust smell underneath the hood. If your EGR tube is cracked, broken, or clogged, this new part from 1A Auto will go in direct fit just like your original equipment and fix you upright. A good trick for lining up this gasket when we install it is if the holes are the right size, you can actually get the thread started into the gasket a little ways. This will help make sure it doesn't move when we go to install it back onto the exhaust manifold. These do rotate and are flexible. So we'll set the bottom in. Just get a couple of threads going there just to keep it pretty close to in place. Then we'll tweak it and line the top up if we can. <coughs> Start that bolt as well. Again. Just a couple of threads because we don't want to lock anything down yet. Once all that's started and everything's seated, we can tighten it all up with our 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. Reinstall the engine cover. These bushings sit on top of these two pegs here. Snap both of those into place. 
Reinstall the oil fill tube, as well as the cap. Reconnect the electrical connector for the EGR. And again, I remove these safety clips. Pop that back in if you did the same thing. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.